Hey guys, and welcome back to HMRK. <clears throat> it's HR. I'm by myself today. Uh, the family's deserted me. Um, I'm actually doing a little bit of work, to be honest. Um, I've got my laptop in front of me. I've got a lot of work to catch up on. Um, I, don't, I think the kids have felt quite deflated with Spurs and really didn't want to watch the game. So they, they've gone uh, and uh, gone to their cousins and they're going to spend a little bit of time with uh, a little bit of family. In the meantime, I've got the game going on in the background. I'm not really paying too much attention to it. Um, I see Jose's made a few changes. Uh, Roden's come in. Um, Regulion's obviously come, uh, kept his place. And then Tanganga's come in as well. Obviously not happy with Aurier. And Sanchez, who I think is an absolute terrible, terrible centre-half, keeps his place above Toby. Not sure what that's all about. And then you've got La Celso playing. Um, I can see Tangi on the pitch. Uh, Lucas Mora, Kane and, uh, and Vinicius. So, strange one there. Maybe um, maybe he's going to play uh, Lo Celso with uh, Hoybier. Sorry, he's playing as well. So maybe Lo Celso and Hoybier will be the two kind of holding players. And Tangi will play the number 10. Lucas Mora, you know, on one side. Vinicius up, up top and, uh, and maybe like um, Kane as a floater. It's an interesting um, team selection, I guess. He's obviously not happy. Uh, and he, and, and uh, to be honest with you, in his post-match interview, you could see that he wasn't happy. Let's see um, how that transpires. I mean, Harry Kane's on the ball now. We're 14 minutes into the game. Uh, we're not going to do, well, I'm, I'm by myself, so I'm not going to do a vlog, but I'll probably do my half-time analysis and then do an analysis on full-time. Um, so hopefully uh, we can get a win. Um, in the meantime, hope you enjoy the game. Stay safe and come on, you Spurs. So uh, <clears throat> a quick checkpoint. We're 21.29 seconds into the first half here. And... Um, if Villa don't win this today, they're going to be kicking themselves. We are awful. And I've got to be honest with you, Mourinho can sit there and say whatever he wants, but he's the coach. He's coaching this lot. And to be honest with you, he's been there, what, well over a year? This side doesn't look like they know what they're doing. I mean, is he actually doing the coaching? Or is this uh, the, uh, the, the, the assistant manager, don't know his name, can't remember it doing the coaching because whoever is doing the coaching they're absolutely useless we are all over the place and to be honest if Villa don't win this they'll be kicking themselves we are absolutely useless same old rubbish sitting back defending no creativity just passing the ball for passing sake passing the ball back to Lloris just looking at it it's gone back to Lloris and then pumping the ball long like Wimbledon this is not what I'm used to this is not the Tottenham way and I'm sorry the international break should be used to fire Mourinho. Fire him. Get rid of him. Because he's a cancer and he's starting to spread. And he has done that in his last two jobs. So good riddance for me as far as I'm concerned. This is another game we're going to lose because we are woeful at the back. And we have just mugged Aston Villa here. 28 on the clock. And we have literally scored a goal. And guess where it's come from? A, a hopeful lump upfield. Just blasted upfield from Regulon. Just watching the goal again here. Martinez comes out. Lucas steals the ball. Comes to Harry Kane. Back through to Lucas. Cross the, cross, across and Vinicius scores his first ever Premier League goal. And Villa will be kicking themselves. That has literally come from nothing. We've been absolutely pants, yet we're 1-0 up. Let's see what we do now. And I think, it's going to, you, I think you know and I know what we're going to do. We're going to put 11 men behind the ball and try to defend this one out. Right, so I can see Jose walking down the tunnel. We are at 46 minutes. And the half-time whistle has just gone. And the players, so I'll just stand up and just can have a quick look to see that the uh, the score is 1-0. Players are running off for half-time. And uh, what can I say? It's been a really lethargic performance, very disjointed. The back four seemed like a back four that has never played together before. 
Um, the lines, they're all over the place, really. Um, and the first 30 minutes, I don't think anyone would have been happy with that, especially Jose. But actually, since the goal, which I'm going to be really honest, was just an absolute hoof up the pitch. And Emmy Martinez really makes a meal of it. And uh, Lucas does really well to turn the ball over and, you know, feeds it into Harry Kane, who uh, returns the... Uh, the favour and then a ball into the box and uh, really Vinicius can't miss from about four yards out. Other than that, we've done absolutely jack all. Uh, we have been really, really poor, but it's on this 1-0 and we need to somehow win a game, really. We've got absolutely nothing to play for if we lose today. I just don't feel that we're going to be good enough to win this game. I feel that Villa are going to come at us in the second half and we're going to crumble because we just look really poor. Let's see what Jose does. He didn't look happy. It's 1-0, half-time. Um, and uh, let's see what we can do in the second half. Catch you in the second half. Come on, you Spurs. So, we're just about to kick off on the second half. Um, Villa, I've got to be honest, have really missed uh, Jack Grealish. I mean, he makes them tick. So, it's been a big plus for us that he's not been playing. Harry Kane's on the ball. We're just about to kick off the second half. And I've got a quick question for you guys. Who's worse, Eric Dyer or Sanchez? And uh, and give us your reasoning. We'll leave it in the comment section below. Who is a better player or defender out of the two? Um, I think Sanchez is rubbish. But then again, I equally think Dyer is rubbish as well. Uh, but for me, I think considering that Sanchez is actually a, a centre-half and he plays for his country as a centre-half, I think Sanchez, for me, is the worst player. Um, and with Dyer, I guess he's getting used to playing back as a centre-half. But I don't think he's a centre-half either. But give us your thoughts. Second half has kicked off. And I'll come back with an update um, as and when. So, we've got 8.48 on the clock. And Harry Kane has just had a lovely little shot. It's just gone wide. I'm not sure if Martinez has actually had a little... Oh, he's gone off Tyron Mings. Tyron Mings has... Slight little deflection, corner here for Spurs. Uh, 48 and a half minutes, regularly on just getting up after being challenged very poorly. Should have actually been a yellow card there. Uh, so let's see if Spurs can make something from this corner. Uh, you can, I can see regularly on limping away there, um, but I'm sure he'll be all right. More like an impact injury there. Who's on the corner here? I'm not sure. It looks like the Celso actually. So. Um, here we go, Harry Kane in the box. Can Lo Celso get a reasonably decent cross into a good area? I don't think he can, and goalkeeper has it in his hands. Right, so there we go, 58 on the clock, and Villa have had their first effort on goal and on target. And uh, let's have a look, cross came in. Uh, so that was the first effort, and then there was another one after that that... Uh, Lloris kind of grabbed and it wasn't a brilliant effort but Villa have actually hit the target so uh, I think we're going to see a lot more of this in the second half let's see uh, how it transpires 32 minutes still to play okay 56 minutes on the clock and it and it been given a penalty here by uh, I keep forgetting his name Mike Dean is it a penalty oh looks really I'm not sure it is a penalty yeah, I'm sure VAR will look at this. It's, it seems, doesn't look like a, a, enough of a contact, but it's been given. I think VAR are not going to overturn this. So um, let's see. It's not a clear and obvious error, as they've said. To Harry Kane. Here we go. Standing over the ball. Scored all three, as, uh, as has been mentioned. So uh, here we go. Let's see if Harry Kane can score and get us into a 2-0 lead. There we go. And let's see what happens. Yes! And Kane scores. And we are 2-0 up now. 67 minutes on the clock. And it's not been a great performance. But hell, after the last couple of performances, we'll take that. 2-0, 67 on the clock. Surely, and I mean surely, we cannot ruin it from here. But we are Spurs, and we are Spursy. So let's see. 
So 94 minutes are almost up. Just waiting for Mike Dean to blow the whistle. Hopefully he'll blow it soon. He's looking at, and the whistle has gone. And a much, much needed win for Jose. I am still at, I'm still in the Jose out camp, by the way. But that was a much needed win for Jose. I have to be honest, we were quite comfortable for the last 20 odd minutes. We actually managed the game really well today in terms of uh, once the second goal went in. Uh, we never looked like we were going to go out and get a third goal, but actually today we managed it really well. The first 30 minutes was really like um, disjointed, but really once we scored that goal and we managed to get in at half time without conceding, I think we looked a lot better in the second half. Um, and uh, Jack Grealish was really missed by Villa. Villa really missed Jack Grealish. I'm ha so happy that Harry Kane scored the penalty. More so because I captained him in my uh, in my fantasy team. I needed him to uh, to score a goal. Uh, I am top currently of my uh, my league, um, and it is worth some money. Um, I think uh, the the pot is three hundred odd quid, so I'm top of that uh, by about seventy points. So hopefully I can stay top of that. Um, just goes to show you I do know something about football. To be top of the, uh, the the table, I've got about 1,830 points roughly at the moment. So I'm not doing too badly. Um, and I've had Harry Kane and Son pretty much uh, throughout my uh, throughout the throughout the season really, and they've uh, they've they've repaid my faith really. So uh, it's an international break. I'm going to be honest with you. I and my family and Indy Tiger, Sharon, Maya, we can all do with this. We need a rest. So I'm really happy. Uh, the table is going to come up in a minute. Obviously, the game earlier, West Ham, who were 3-0 up. West Ham fans, 3-0 up. And you guys let it slip, just like we did against you. So uh, now you can see it's slightly on the other foot. Uh, can you give us your comments? How do you feel really today? I think you guys should have really won. No one really should lose or draw a game when they're 3-0 up. What, do you, what are your thoughts? I thought Arsenal were quite good in the end. But it was a positive result for us because both teams dropped a, a couple of points. And it puts us in sixth spot on 48 points. A point behind the Hammers, uh, who are obviously having a good season. We're having a bad season. We're only a point behind the Hammers. Interesting, really. Um, I still don't think we're going to finish in the top four. But you know what? We're in there. We might have a squeak, I guess. But I'm sure the, uh, the season will finish on a damp squib. But listen... I'm going to enjoy myself now. I'm going to have a rest. I'm going to rest with the family and that. Please leave your comments and stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Come on, you Spurs.